So the purpose of this video is to show people how to design something in vector software like Inkscape or Illustrator to actually 3D print something. So let's say you have an idea and let's say something like this. Um, so I've created it in paths. Let's say this is, I don't know, a robot's knee or a bottle opener or something like that. So you can easily go into Inkscape, which is free by the way, and just create a shape like this. And let's say another shape here. And I'm going to subtract one from the other. I can look at the paths here and say difference. I can also do it the other way. Select both path union. So, I mean, you can design all kinds of things with it. Uh, so, let's, but let's say for the sake of argument, this is my design. I want to make uh, whatever this is into a 3D object. So, what I'll need to do is export this out as an SVG and then bring it into Blender. So, I'm going to do that now. So, I'm going to say save as. Uh, I'm going to save it on the desktop, which is already saved here, but I'm just going to save over it. Sure, let's replace it. Alright, now, so I'm in Blender now, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the cube, uh, the light, and the camera, and then I'm going to go to Import and find that SVG file we just created, which is right here, and I'm going to import SVG. Um, it's very small, so I'm going to have to scale it up, hit S. And actually, I'm going to go to say set origin to geometry, then I get to scale it up. And it's just it's pretty much just the paths, so what I need to do is go edit the curves. So we can come over here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go to the curves, uh, editing area and I'm going to switch this to 2D right here and now I can do extrude and just kind of extrude it up like so however big I want it to be um, I'm not going to mess with any of these other settings really um, at least not right now so what I'm going to do now at this point is convert this to mesh from curve which I could actually probably print that as a curve. I think I've done that before with no problems, but you know, it kind of depends on your software you're using. Uh, so now I can go to edit mode, and it's created a lot of faces and vertices, which, yeah, it shouldn't really be a problem. But you can simplify it if you want to. Uh, in fact, I think there's a simplify modifier in there somewhere, but I'm not, I'm not really worried about it right now. In fact, I might actually make it a little bit more um, complicated. First thing I like to do is hit A to select all, go to faces mode and hit control N to I guess uh, make sure all the normals are flipped which you know use most of the time it's correct. Uh, it's kinda hard to tell sometimes unless you go to uh, texture mode and try to apply a texture and you'll see you know some faces are flipped the wrong way, you know, you might have to go back and make some corrections, but for now, this is, this, I think this is going to work. Now I could make this a little more complicated, um, kind of bevel it a little bit, um, so I might just go ahead and do, let's say, grab all those faces, hit B to bo go to box mode, by the way, let go, and now I've got the top and bottom, so if I wanted to do something like i give it a little bit of a bevel, I could. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to just scale it in a little bit, which is not going to be perfect. But I'm just showing you how to do it. Um, let's turn that off. Let's select all the edges right here, which is almost impossible. But um, Yeah, it's not quite right. So I'd have to go through and edit all these which would be a pain and for demonstration purposes I'm not really going to go through that right now but so let's just undo what I did and just say that's my design I'm going to leave it like that I'm not going to mess with it 
another thing I would recommend doing actually is uh, going into edit mode, selecting, uh, you don't really have to select that, but I'm um, just showing you how to select vertices. Hit A and then W and make sure you remove doubles. In this case, there's 538 vertices that were removed, so that can actually make issues, can create issues in whatever, in some software. So be aware of that too. You might want to go ahead and remove doubles before you actually uh, export it out. So at this point, I'm going to save this out as an STL file. So. Depending on what software you're using to 3D print, um, you may use a different file type, but there's many types in here. I'm going to go with STL. I'm going to save it in the same directory, which is downloads, untitled, I can name it what I want, untitled thing 001, whatever, and export the STL. Alright, so we're coming to the end of the print. We started about a little over 25 minutes ago. So let's just put in the finishing touches on the, uh, the top surface over the info. So um, hopefully it'll come out okay. Looks pretty good so far. not sure what it is, but uh, it's done printing, so I might need to clean it up a little bit. Right, so that's how you design something in uh, Inkscape, bring it into Blender, and then um, bring out the 3D software. Of course it may vary depending on your actual you know, 3D printer and 3D software, but uh, well, anyway, that's how you do it.